Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG Online video. And today I have for you guys a Mega Sceptile EX deck, a deck that a lot of you guys have been requesting. But, you know, this this is, uh, yeah, it's a Mega Sceptile EX deck, but you can't forget Sceptile EX is a pretty good attacker himself. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on Mega Sceptile's uh, Jagged Saber. And uh, it's not, I don't know, we're not really taking the this ability this is not ability this effect to its fullness all right so i'm just gonna lay it out there i'm just gonna tell you guys right now it's not gonna be to its fullness but it's gonna be here for us now i am playing a 3-3 line of mega subtile and subtile ex here may not be necessary it could just be a 3-2 line all right if you're gonna make this your own variation of this deck 3-2 line is pretty good um so there is pretty pretty even consistency here right so we're gonna be playing uh bell sprout and weeping bell and victory bell with this deck so we're gonna be doing a three two two line of this and so the plan here is to take advantage of this stadium right here uh forest of giant plants we're gonna be playing three of these could play four but i thought three is good enough so three three line of victory bell here with weeping bell and bell sprout so the ability wafting scent uh, wafting. <laughs> it's a funny word. Once during your turn before your attack, you may discard a grass energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and confused, or confused and poisoned, whichever order you want to say, but it's both of those regardless. Okay, so the point here is we can still use Sceptile EX's Unseen Claw here, hitting for 60 plus 70 more damage. It says if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 70 more damage. I know a lot of these guys can pair, you can pair, um, Sceptile EX with uh, Air Idols and uh, hit for, you know, consistently, you know, being able to poison. But the problem with Air Idols is that if you're facing against other grass decks, uh, you're not going to be able to poison them. Um, so that's that's a flaw in its ability. Now, again, it's one less stage to evolve and one less Pokemon to search for. But I figure, you know, if you're running into other grass decks, at least you're, you're able to confuse and poison them. Unlike Air Idols, you can't really do that with other grass Pokemon. And since, you know, Verizon is no longer in the format, no need to fear, uh, besides uh, Slurpuff. But, uh, you know, being able to confuse and poison works out very well. I mean, I, I don't know. It works really well with Unseen Claw here, too. Um, but the, the, the trick here is with Jagged Saber, uh, it says you may attach up to two Grass Energy uh, from your hand onto the po bench Pokemon in any way you like. If you do, you, you know, attach the Pokemon, you can heal all damage from that Pokemon. So it's not like this guy is really going to take hits. It could... Uh, but it's not exactly necessary. So, but still, the plan here is every time, um, you know, you discard an energy card, right? You, you can still play an energy card. That's that's really it. So you can still energy accelerate. That's this kind of this, the only synergy in this deck. And uh, so as soon as you, you know, you can play energies and then you discard energies, you can always cycle them back. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be playing two of these energy retrievals, uh, being able to put up to four uh, energy cards, you know, energy cards that you've discarded over time uh, from your discard pile back into your hand, which is pretty nice. Now, the only Pokemon I didn't mention here is two Shaman EXs. Just works really good. The setup ability is just an amazing ability for consistency. And so we're going to be seeing Shaman EX for that ability alone. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the Pokemon line. I've already mentioned Battle Compressor, or, um, Energy Retrieval. But we're going to be playing one Battle Compressor here. It works very well with Mega Sceptile, uh, being able to, um, you know, being a, being a Mega, you can bring some energies back, uh, using Mega Turbo. And also, you know, Energy Retrieval. <laughs> and so, that, that's kind of nice. Uh, we have Lava Ball here, two of these. Two Mega Turbos, as mentioned, for the Mega Sceptile. Uh, we have Sacred Ash right here, and a Switch, since, you know, our Pokemon's pretty heavy. Two Retreat costs isn't that light. Uh, we have Trainage Mail, and then the Ultra Ball, three of these. So, again, lots of Pokeballs to get these guys out into play. Uh, four of these Ultra Balls to get the Mega Sceptiles. We just want to get really consistent. want to just get the Pokemon out as much as we can. And, uh, again, so the Mega Turbos, you might think, you know, since Mega Sceptile is only two energies, it's very cost-efficient, very energy-efficient. These Mega Turbos come in handy. Uh, believe me. All right, they do. So we got three uh, Via Seekers right here, and then we do have the Ace Trainer here as well. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see if this is even that useful. We have Lysander. could be pretty handy. Three of these, uh, Professor Birch's Observation, uh, four Sycamores, three Sycamores, I mean, and two Shaunas. We have the uh, Forest Giant Plants, as I already mentioned, three of these. Each player's Grass Pokemon can evolve during his or her first turn or the turn he or she plays those Pokemon. Pretty cool. Uh, we have the Sceptile Spirit Link, which works also for the Mega Sceptile. So these guys are grass Pokemon. They can evolve right away as long as you have the... Well, 
Even if you don't have the Spirit Link, you'll end your turn, of course, you can evolve right away. But if you have the Spirit Link, that's pretty nice. You can evolve right away and not end your turn. Uh, we have the Grass Energies here, uh, 10 of these, and that's it for the deck. Let's go ahead and see this deck in action here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, we're going to play against Lagarto X7. It's a Metal Colorless and Psychic deck, so I'm assuming we could see Bronzong or something, maybe, I don't know. Metal decks uh, with Psychic. Hmm. Questionable. We start off with a Bell Sprout right here, and uh, not much else. We do get the Force of Giant Plants. My opponent will be going first. Oh, here is a Deoxys, and we see Lugia EX over there, and a Beldum. Oh, okay. Oh, pretty interesting. This one is also from the Ancient Origin set we see here. This guy looks like he's... The rocks here are from, like, an actual picture. That's pretty cool. Makes me wonder, are these real? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, muscle Band. Here's a Wally. This Beldum is going to get evolved right away into the Metagross eventually at some point. Or, or, um, not Metagross. Is it Metagross? It is a Metagross. That's right. Okay, so here it is. Uh, hmm. Get the Force of Giant Plants. Can't even play the Shaman right here. Uh, let's see. Well, we could play the Shauna. I'm going to go for Shauna and see how we do. Okay, so not so bad. Not so bad at all. Um, I'm going to play this on the bench. This guy has a lower tree cost, so we're going to go with that. And let's go and get that Shaman right here. And here we go, Shaman. Oh, uh, man. Ah, that's perfect. This is looking nice. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right, so we can do that right there. And uh, we have yet to play the Energy. Um, but, okay, so... Hmm, we could play, we can't even play Shauna, we already played the Shauna. Um, yeah, you know, I actually want to get another Shaman out here. That way we can draw into some more cards. Alright, so here it is, draw into four more cards, and no, oh, bummer, we didn't get the Sceptile going. Couldn't play the Spirit Link at all. I kind of wanted to do that, but we got three VS Seekers, which we can get the Shaunas. And uh, maybe get a better hand after that. We didn't even get an energy drop either. So uh, it looks like my opponent will be able to go for a close encounter. My opponent didn't get any energy drops either. So both of us are in even playing fields in terms of energy drops in our turns. We both miss it on our turn ones. We could get some in our turn twos. And that's it. My opponent passes the turn. It looks like my opponent's playing this the Metagross over here. And uh, let's go ahead. We'll just discard this right here and probably this right there. I do want to get the Sceptile going. And here is the Sceptile Spirit Link. There's this right here. Uh, let's go for that Shauna. And Shauna for a good hand size right now. Um, yeah, no need to play this over here. Could play Battle Compressor. Could play the Sacred Ash <laughs> for this Bell Sprout. And that's about it. All right, so we will end the turn here. In the next turn, I will retreat the Bell. Oh, no, Dimension Valley. That eh, doesn't really matter. Um, my opponent can hit us for a close encounter and draw into two more cards. So my opponent's going to be playing some kind of Machine Gun Stomp right here. Does uh, 10 more damage for each energy card. So uh, we got to be watchful of that. Uh, let's go ahead. We will retreat. And, uh, eh, you know, we could go for a Battle Compressor. Uh, maybe discard some more energies. I don't know. Uh, nope, let's just go for the Birch. And we would flip Tails. Uh, let's counter that Stadium right here. Ooh, we do get the Energy Retrieval. That's kind of nice. Mm, too bad we didn't use that earlier. And we have a Force uh, Giant Plants right there. Uh, we could just get these energies back right now. That's kind of nice. Okay, so here's that. And let's go for the Sleep Poison. Come on, flipping heads. Oh, no, we flipped tails. Shucks. All right, well, uh, if we can top deck a Mega Subtile EX, that would be sweet. Uh, that way we can knock this Deoxys out in one hit. Here's a Tierno. My opponent is definitely trying to bulk up his hand. Too bad we don't run any red cards. And uh, we see the Beldum over here. We got an energy. My opponent will be able to do a close encounter now. And we do get the Mega Sceptile. Yes. All right. So here's the Jagged Saber. Hint for 100. And there's that right there. I'm going to try to confuse this Metagross if I can. And all right. So here it is. The Machine Gun Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My opponent can play. Let's see. Some more Tiernos, perhaps. Things like that. And maybe some. Oh, here is a DCE drop right there. So we got to deal with that. For sure. All right, so we need to get another Sceptile EX going, and uh, that's kind of our only hope right now. Unless we can confuse this guy and maybe cause some trouble that way. That's one shot right there. Oh no, <laughs> that's that's one opportunity that we could try. And uh, with the 
Roller skates flipping tails. That was actually pretty nice. Here's another roller skates. Please flip tails. Oh, no, my opponent got heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with the muscle band and 20 right there. That's hitting for 120. That's going to be a two hit knockout. Hmm. Oh, man, that's not good. Uh, well, too bad we don't have N anymore in the format. So, uh, at the very least, we can still do a uh, wafting scent. Is that how to pronounce that? Wafting? Wafting? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me feel like Elmer Fudd. Wafting. Yeah, wabbit hunting. Okay, all right. So, the Metang over here. Here's the Metagross right now. Metagross. Man, that is gross. Okay. Here is the Lucky Helmet. Now, my opponent will be able to get two tool cards it is pretty nice. Um, you know, let's go ahead and uh, we could play this right now. Uh, yeah, let's go with this right here. And uh, I'm just going to shame in. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, we got Professor Birch's observation that we can play. Man, let's go ahead. Let's see. Where are all of our septiles? Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can pull this off. Can't get a single septile, anyways. Uh, here's another spirit land. Got plenty of those. Uh, got this right here as well. Let's go ahead and pick these up right now. That way we can do some energy accelerating. And uh, okay, let's go ahead. Jagged saber hitting for a hundred. Putting this onto our uh, our victory bell. Um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna save this here in case we can get another Sceptile EX. Now we don't have any Sceptiles in the discard pile. That means they're just somewhere in our deck, unless two of them are prized and two Mega Sceptiles are prized. That would be disgusting. And we gotta wait and see. Does my opponent attack? And no, we see a switch. We could see a retreat, and my opponent can hit us for another machine gun stomp. But lucky for us, Spiral Drain can actually get the job done. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, we can knock out this Metagross here. Uh, oh no, my opponent gets another Tierno. That's not good. We see a Muscle Band. And, uh, oh man. So there is a knockout on our Mega Sceptile EX. We're going to have to promote this Victory Bell, which is kind of silly. Now, my opponent can still get another DCE right here, which is very likely. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I'll take my chances, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is not good. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll just bring these guys back in. And, uh, hmm. Let's go ahead. What can we discard? Where? Oh, my goodness. What, what the heck? Our subtitles are still in there. What the junks? Let's get rid of that bell sprout. Oh, okay. All right, so there's that. And, uh, okay, so here we go. Um, man, this is not good. Uh, yeah, let's finish this guy off, I guess. Do we have another uh, victory bell? We should. I mean, yeah. All right, all right. So let's go ahead. We can just knock him out. Yeah, why not? Uh, hmm. Yep, let's go for the knockout. There it is. Okay, so here's a weeping bell right there. Uh, we can go ahead and get this Mega Sceptile EX going again. Now, we only have six cards left. My opponent has 16. Here is a Metagross. And this is no good. This Metagross will be able to take us out, I think. Yeah, with the DCE. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, no. Here is an Ultra Ball discarding an Ultra Ball and a Wally. That's interesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, man. Plus, is there a Muscle Band? Yes, there is. My opponent will be hitting us for 140. I'm assuming my opponent has DCE. Uh, with a trainer's mail. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Dementia Valley. Uh, I'm wondering. I wonder. Yeah, it looks like my opponent wants to counter the stadium, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not looking the best. Uh, so here is another muscle band. Oh, no. This is going to be a knockout on the victory bell. My opponent would have enough. And wait a second. My opponent can seize the match. What? We were tied in prizes too. Okay, well, regardless, we were able to squeeze out of that one with that Mega Turbo there. We would have been able to go for another Jagged Saber, but I don't know. I don't know. Mega Sceptile. Hmm. <laughs> we couldn't see the end of it, so I wonder if my opponent missed. My opponent may have missed the DCE, and uh, that way my opponent wouldn't have been able to get the knockout. So that would have been pretty tragic. Uh, I think my opponent had. 
Unless one DCE was prized, one was in the discard pile, and then two was still left in the deck or some scenario like that. I don't know. Maybe two were prized. Who knows? Um, but still. Okay. All right. So, uh, <laughs> I know you're watching this, and you guys aren't satisfied. So, let's go ahead and play another match. All right. And we're playing against Pokemon Dad 1. And uh, Pokemon Dad is playing with a Psychic deck. We even see the Psychic Sleeves as well as the Psychic Coins. So the theme is real, guys. And it uh, looks like my opponent will be going first. Uh, we will end up mulling again. We start off with the Sceptile EX right here. And this is actually a pretty good hand. We can Battle Compressor get rid of a Supporter. Yes, you get the Supporter back to our hand. And uh, we can play an Energy right here. Looks, looking pretty good. And uh, if we can, you know, we can pull this off. We can actually pull this off pretty well. Um, now, what I'm thinking is I might just uh, Battle Compressor get rid of a Sycamore as well as maybe the, uh, um, perhaps the Ace Trainer, maybe a Lysander, things like that. Things that I won't really be, uh, won't be using. And uh, here is the Dimension Valley. Good thing my opponent won't be able to attack first. Playing is a, probably a Mega Galley deck. Here is a Zubat. Uh, that one with the rotation, we won't see the free flight Zubat anymore, so that's kind of nice. Um... So right now, my opponent, uh, with the Mystery Energy, will be able to retreat. So that negates the two retreat costs right here off this Gallade. And uh, my opponent says, love your videos, keep up the good work. And I will say, all right, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, smiley face, yes. Uh, I, I usually do that. Okay, so here we go. Wow, we even get the Mega Sceptile Spirit Link. Here is this right here. I'm going to go ahead. Let's just discard the uh, Ace Trainer. No need to see that anymore. Here's that Sycamore. And uh, we'll even discard the uh, Lysander. All right, perfect. All right, so here we go. We'll get rid of two energies into the discard pile. Here is the Professor Sycamore. We'll do that right there. And uh, all right, so we need to get that uh, giant uh, plant thing going. So here is a Weeping Bell. Um, and uh, okay, so we will discard this right here and this right there. Uh, so we can if we can get that off this uh, shaman here. Oh my goodness, that's the only shaman that we have. No, that's terrible. Uh, huh. All right, so drawing the two more cards. Wow, we got it! Unbelievable. And we even got this right here. We got everything we want. Oh man, here it is. We got even got this. Oh wow, no way. Here is a jagged saber, and we're gonna be able to put this onto the victory bell and uh, hang on to this one right here. In the next turn, we should be able to go for a wafting scent. And put a lot of pressure on this Galley DX. Wouldn't really matter. We'll be able to just knock out this Galley DX anyways. So this is great. Oh man, Pokemon Dad right now is uh, has a lot of pressure going on on him right there. Off that Shaman, we were really lucky to top deck this force of giant plants right here. Uh, everything kind of going our way right there. Everything just came together. Now we are down one card. We do have one Shaman prized since we do play two Shamans. So we, if we had another Shaman, if we have an Ultra Ball, we could have gotten that other Shaman if it was still in the deck. And that could have been pretty favorable for us, but uh, looks like my opponent is going to be targeting the Victory Bell over here. We should be able to knock this guy out now. Even if my opponent uh, discards an energy using the uh, enhancing our crushing hammer we should still be able to respond by uh, using this energy here so here it is my opponent will be able to hit us for perhaps a piercing prizes if my opponent counters the stadium with his own dimension valley and uh, that could be pretty painful right there here is a shauna drawing into five cards for my opponent and do we, we gotta wait and see here's a goal all right that's pretty cool oh we even see a gengar ex right there as well um so we can see a swift lunge now that would be able to bring out the uh, perhaps the shaman. So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll promote the shaman right now, and then we'll just pay the retreat costs with the shaman, and then we'll knock out this galley ex over here. So here is the shaman, and we even get wow. We top deck a shauna. What? Oh my goodness! It can't get any better than that. All right, so let's go. Ahead. We're just gonna retreat, and uh, you know we're hanging on to this bell sprout. We'll just go with the jagged saber. No need to play anything else really. At least I don't think so. And all right, we'll knock out this galley right here. Oh, we didn't have any energies in our hand. Oh, hey, we get another victory bell. Uh, too bad we don't have the weeping bell. Ah, oh, weeping bell. Ah, oh no, he's so sad. All right, so goal bat right here. Uh, we'll be able to go for a swoop across, perhaps, with the stadium if my opponent's able to play it, or an energy drop. But I have a feeling the Gengar EX might come out, so uh, that's something to look out for. So we gotta wait and see. What does my opponent do? Again, we do have a uh, Shauna we can play. We can play the Bell Sprout here as well. Um, I might play the Bell Sprout. Looks like my opponent may be attacking this Victory Bell over here. 
and depending on what my opponent does, uh, we can actually Lysander out this uh, this Gengar, and I might just do that. Here is a Muscle Band and everything, so we're going to do that. We're going to Lysander out the Gengar, and uh, we're going to put him to uh, Confusion, and then hit him for 100 damage, and kind of go on from there. Now, again, that may not be the best choice, but... Hey, we got it. We got that opportunity for us. Why not take it? Here is the Ultra Ball that could be going for a Crobat. Here it is. So the Crobat can start attacking the Mega Sceptile, and that could be pretty brutal. Or the Victor Bell here on the bench. All right, so the Victor Bell uh, can take 30 more damage. Wouldn't really matter. We'll be able to heal it off with the Jagged Saber and uh, playing the energy from our hand. If we had some energies, that is. So that's it. My opponent just kind of, uh, huh. Oh, okay. All right, then. Um, so, for sure, let's go ahead. We're going to bring out this uh, this Gengar over here. And let's go with that. And let's go with the Jagged Saber. And we will go ahead and heal everything off. All 20 damage. All 20 damage off that Victory Bell. And, uh, all right. So, this Mega Sceptile EX here uh, still has 190 the Gengar, if it wants to attack, oh no, we see a crushing hammer that can discard uh, either the Victor Bell or the Mega Sceptile, and my opponent opts to discard from the Mega Sceptile. We have three energies in the discard pile. We do have one more Mega Turbo in the deck. We played two of those, and my opponent hits for the Confusion, and that's going to be it. So here is a uh, Trainer's Mail. So we do get this for us. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and discard these. Might as well. We'll get another Weeping Bell going. Why not? Thin out the hand a little bit. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We will go with the Sycamore here. Again, uh, a Spirit Link, we should we'll play three of those, so we could probably just, you know, discard this one. No big deal. And here it is. There's that right there. <laughs> now I wish I had. Oh, man. Well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll go with the Jagged Saber. We even have a switch right here, and man, this deck is just chugging through here, and I, I feel I must apologize to Pokemon Dad 1, uh, you know, just couldn't get anything going, looks like uh, his his Galade fell short right away, the, uh, the Gengar just fell trapped to the Lysander right away, and uh, really just couldn't get anything going here for my opponent. We see a Deoxys as well, the goal is still chilling over there on the bench, but uh, this looks like, you know, the uh, Mega Sceptile X just kind of got everything to fall in place, got everything to go in order, and uh, we were able to just to take on, we saw the, the brute force of the Mega Sceptile EX deck right here, kind of just going at it. So we got to wait and see. Can we get another, uh, perhaps we can maybe Mega Evolve this guy? I don't know. We need that Spirit Link. Where is that Spirit Link? Oh, man. One of them was prized. Maybe that would be really bad, but uh, one of them is in the discard pile. Um... All right, so here it is. Uh, we got a couple of opportunities we can go here. Uh, you know, let's just go ahead. We'll go with this. Make that guy. Put that guy to sleep right there. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just go ahead. <laughs> just go the fancy route here, playing the energy, um, which isn't really necessary. I mean, uh, we could have played it on to ourselves, but... Saving that for the Victor Bell, and uh, I gotta wait and see. Can we get uh, somehow? Can we maneuver somehow and pull off a uh, you know a uh, Mega Sceptile? Okay, so here it is. My opponent brings out the Deoxys. We could get hit for a Overdrive Smash. Assuming opponent, um, uh, ooh, here is a Golurk. Oh man, if my opponent had the Flareon, we would be doomed. Um, but anyways, uh, so you know, Deoxys here could be. Uh, that could be pretty troublesome. So, okay, here is a muscle ban onto the goal lurk. My opponent still has a shot here at really taking us out one shot at a time if he had the Flareon. And, okay, so here, let's go for the Trainer's Mail. We got a Force Giant Plants. You know what? I don't need any of these right here. My opponent has yet to counter the Stadium. So we're just going to go. We're going to click Done. And uh, let's go ahead. We're just going to search for nothing. And, uh, hmm. All right, so... Uh, let's just discard these right here for nothing. Okay, and then let's play the Shaman. Do we get that Spirit Link? Ah, uh, no, we don't have the Spirit Link. Okay, uh, hmm. Well, let's go with that. Um, <laughs> I can definitely evolve right now, but, uh, you know, do we, we still have that, um, Sacred Ash, I think. So, I mean, I can still, I don't know, I got a lot of these... Forest plants that I want to hang on to as well. Let's just go ahead and hit for the jagged saber. That should be a, that would be a knockout on this Deoxys. And uh, here is the sacred ash. Oh man, now I kind of regret. I probably should have played the sycamore and discarded these guys. Could have gotten them back by now too. Um, 
But hey, it is what it is. I couldn't get the, uh, couldn't really get any more energies. Now we do have some more energy retrievals, I think, right? So I mean, I only played one so far. We got one, two, three, four energies in the discard pile. Two energies played right now, and here it is. My opponent plays another energy drop, and that's it. Passes the turn. Um, oh man, this is not good. Uh, we could mega evolve. Um, but you know what? I want to take my chances here to get a two-hit knockout on this Golurk. And uh, really, that's about it. So unless my opponent can get something going here, uh, we see a superpower that could hit us for not quite a knockout. I think 140, just a little bit short, and it's gonna be GG. I'll just let my opponent know. We'll just go GG right here, and that's it. All right, Jagged Saber knocking out the goal lurk, and uh, you know I gotta have to do this right here. Sure, why not? And there it is, my opponent. Uh, yeah. All right. So wow, uh, this. This matchup, we had everything rolling for us, man. Everything just kind of fell in place. Biggest Sceptile EX. All right, so, I don't know. Should I play another one? Yeah, okay, fine. All right, let's play one more match here and uh, see what happens next. All right, Dan, we're playing Gens... Um, uh, okay, I'm not going to pronounce that, but if I was to give it a try, it would be something like Biakopono. Anyways, we're playing against a m fighting deck. I was going to say Machamp. It is going to be a Machamp deck of some sort, it looks like. We're going to start off with a Shaman EX. That is terrible. And uh, at least, uh, well, we get the giant forest plant right there. That's kind of nice. And uh, looks like that's it. My opponent plays the Machamp EX, and that passes the turn. So here is a Sceptile Spirit Link. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'm really tempted to play this. Um, no, you know what? We're actually going to go for the Ultra Ball. And uh, let's go ahead. We're going to set up everything we can so far. Let's get that Bell Sprout. Here is that Bell Sprout right there. Let's get that right here. And uh, we're going to discard this, and we're going to discard that. And uh, it's gonna be, we're just going to get the Shaman. Uh, I know we can probably discard some more things here, but I kind of want to keep that uh, Mega Turbo. That's actually very handy. All right, so here's that Shaman. I uh, got some more of these, got some more of that. And uh, let's go with the Professor Birch, maybe. Uh, let's see here. You know, I might just get another Shaman. Nope. No, uh, do I? I, I think I only play two Shamans anyways. So here's that right there, and there's that right there, and oh my goodness, we're getting everything going for us right here. We even got a Sycamore to boot. All right, that's it. We're all set up and ready to go. Now, my opponent can play the Spinarak Evolving to the Aerodos, but that shouldn't affect us, but it will affect the Machamp, so that's going to be something pretty scary. My opponent can do Steaming Mad. We're going to be hitting for only 100, and my opponent can hit us for Steaming Mad and knock us out, really, with those two strong energies right there. That's going to be really bad. We're in a really bad position here we're gonna be doing wafting scent and uh, you know poisoning and uh, making my opponent confused oh no and that, that's just gonna be helping them a champ oh man that's awful uh, well we will have an opportunity maybe we can get that uh, um, what do you call that that mega turbo again and an energy drop perhaps we can get that switch as well we can get that all set up and ready to go well, that'd be pretty cool and on a turn two evolving the septile here get that spirit link everything fall into place that would be fantastic but right now we're gonna be able to get we're just gonna get a hit for nothing really my opponent won't be able to do a steaming mad we can see maybe and uh, turn three maybe turn three crazy hammer if my opponent has the energy drop for it oh no here is a, a sycamore uh, that's gonna happen. Oh no! So very likely, my opponent will get that get that energy for the next turn, and we're gonna get knocked out with a crazy hammer. Ah, shucks. All right. Well, hey, at least we have the Professor Sycamore, and uh, drawing the seven cards can put ourselves in a pretty good position. So I'm looking forward to that. We see right here my opponent playing the Trainer's Mail. Wow, shiny, uh, fighting energy. That's kind of cool. Uh, you don't really see those too often. And uh, here is a not shiny. Pokemon Center Lady. Okay, so um, that's it. My opponent passes the turn. All right, so we see the Mega Sceptile here. Oh, very tempting, but I'm gonna have to go for the Sycamore. You gotta do what's best, uh, putting yourself in the best position. So let's go ahead. We're maybe we can do that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll end the turn. Maybe we can buy ourselves a turn. Maybe he will hurt himself by going for a crazy hammer, hitting himself for 30. 
that would be fantastic. Uh, we do have a VS Seeker which can play for the Professor Sycamore again. I might just go for that. Uh, we don't need the giant forest plants anymore. That's not uh, necessary. So, which means we'll probably likely just play the energy on the Subtel EX and then uh, go for the Sacred Ash and then uh, uh, go for the Sycamore. So here it is, the Machamp EX here with the crazy hammer happening right now. My opponent doesn't even need the Arados. I poisoned my opponent and uh, confused him too, so that's actually pretty nice. And uh, maybe if my opponent flips tails, we can, uh, you know, uh, dodge a bullet here. Unless my opponent plays Via Seeker for that Pokemon Center Lady. And then, you know, it's the, it's the shame in the X for, uh, well, we got the resistance. Does my opponent have the muscle band? No. So if he did Crazy Hammer, uh, after doing, if my opponent played Via Seeker for the, oh no, <laughs> uh, we can't see our, sh <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I get for clicking so much. Oh uh, man, we can't see our discard pile anymore. So, that's going to be a disadvantage. <laughs> oh, man. That that should be a pretty cool uh, game scenario, maybe. You know, like, can't look at your discard pile. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Okay, so uh, that's okay with me. Won't be able to see the discard pile. And uh looks like my opponent will be uh, choosing what to discard right now. Um, Bry Cupono. I apologize for butchering your name. I'm just sorry. Um... Played a battle compressor, uh, team flare gear. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what we're gonna do for sure? Oh no, my opponent. Uh, let's see, Lysander. My opponent was able to hit himself. Oh no way! Ha <laughs> uh, ha. that's great. My opponent Lysander out the septile and says you are inactive. Oh, what's going on with that? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get that going. Oh, here's a battle compressor. That's no good. We'll play this right here. Uh, yeah, you know, let's go for the Birch's observation. Can we flip heads? No, we flip tails. Uh, shucks. Okay, well. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we can put him to sleep. Come on, sleep. Oh, never mind. Well, hey, he can still hit us for a crazy hammer. That would be a knockout on our Sceptile EX. We do have another Sceptile EX here on the bench. Now, again, both scenarios, if I was able to flip uh, heads on the coin flip for uh, poison, for sleep powder, my opponent would still need to flip heads anyway. So both scenarios, kind of kind of the same thing, except for being confused works a little bit better by uh, you know having the Machamp hurt himself. And uh, again, that was kind of a strange scenario. Uh, so right here, the uh, discard pile still isn't working. Uh, you know, the latest patch was supposed to fix that, and it looks like it's not fixed yet. So... Um, yeah, looks like we're going to have to go for the Professor Birch's observation. We see an AZ. My opponent uh, hurts himself in confusion again. And we're able to knock him out here. Let's go for the Professor Birch's observation. And uh, we don't get the Sceptile Spirit Link yet. Uh, still not yet. No, no Sceptile Spirit Link yet, huh? Uh, yeah. All right, we're, just, we're not going to grab anything. Let's just go ahead. We're going to go for the Unseen Claw. Hitting for, wow, we got so lucky there. Dodging two bullets. Here is a Sceptile Spirit Link. And are you kidding me? We dodged two. Dude, this Victory Bell, the, <laughs> the wafting scent here, is clutch. This is so clutch. It was able to really buy us so many turns right there. Bought us two turns. My opponent flipped tails twice. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. Wow. All right, well... This is going to be a last match, right? This is going to be the last match. If I win or lose, I don't care anymore. I, I, My opponent hurt himself twice off the confusion. That is one confused Machamp. One confused Machamp. Are you serious? Like, that is great. I, I am so proud of my Victory Bell. You are awesome, Victory Bell. Oh, my opponent goes for... Uh, oh, he flips heads on this. Finally, he gets heads. And here is a Fighting Stadium. Here's an Ultra Ball. Here is everything. My opponent's going to get a Shaman. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was going zipping fast right there. Uh, everything's just kind of flying away. And, uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just counter the Stadium. And we'll get this right here. And uh, we'll get this right here as well. And uh, hmm, yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm gonna bench. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go this route. This is gonna be a safer route, I think. Um, and I'm gonna hang on to this too. I'm gonna hang on to the switch in case my opponent Lysander's out the victory bell. So let's go for the unseen claw. No need to do much of anything else. Too fancy right here. Uh, we shall see the Machamp come out. My opponent can get an air autos. Could see the Halucha as well. That's why I play the switch. That way we can heal off the Sceptile EX if we really need to. Um, so the Sceptile EX here will take a hit for us. We do have the switch right now. 
Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to be able to switch into the Munchamp. Uh, actually, we could probably just go for the uh, the wafting scent here and uh, <laughs> confuse him again. All right, so here it is. My opponent won't be able to hit us for a crazy hammer, uh, but maybe in the next turn my opponent can do that. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the switch. I'm going to hang on to everything in my hand, really. We got the Shauna. Uh, I'm going to keep that switch there. And uh, wait and see. So, again, my opponent will be able to do a massive amount of damage with Steaming Mad. So, let's go ahead. We're going to wait for that. And uh, there it is. My opponent's poisoned and confused. And uh, let's go for the Shauna. Nope, we're going to hang on to that. Let's go for the Unseen Claw. Yeah, there we go. 130. And my opponent, if he hurts himself, if he flips Tails on the Confusion, he will knock out with the Poison Damage. Hitting for 30 plus Poison Damage, which is another 10. That would be great if my opponent flips Tails on that Confusion. And that would be the worst of luck. I've never seen luck that bad. Flipping three Tails on Confusion. Now, my opponent might have to think twice. Maybe he's going to have to go for a Switch of some sort. Again, we can't see my opponent's discard pile anymore. And so here is a... A trainer's mail. My opponent brings out a Professor Birch's observation. We see the Via Seeker could go for a Lysander. Nope, we see the Pokemon Center Lady. My opponent's going to be able to heal that. And uh, that way, now my opponent can hit us for 180. And then he confuses himself as well. So here is the our Mega Sceptile. Uh, let's go ahead. We're just going to bench that right there. And uh, let's go for the Shauna. We do get a Mega Turbo, which isn't too helpful right now. So let's go. We're just going to go for the Jagged Saber, knocking out this Machamp. And that's it right here. We have a Battle Compressor. We can go ahead and discard some things. We got Shauna as well. We got the Lysander. We can just Lysander something out and knock it out. And my opponent can retreat into the Lucha, but. All right, so that's about it. I mean, hey, we can go ahead and bring out the Aerodos. It took my opponent a long time to get this guy out here. That spinner rack was sitting there on the bench for quite some time. Here is a Lucario EX my opponent can retreat to, but otherwise we should be able to just bring out this Aerodos or even the Halucha, knock him out, take the prizes. And you know, I if I had the if I had another energy, I will actually go for the Victory Bell. Victory Bell needs to get the victory. And uh, by poisoning, so <laughs> if I had the energy, I would do it. Uh, but sadly, I played the energy on this Subtile EX just to just be like super safe. Um, but hey, we are able to get it. So I might do this. I just might do this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do, do I want to do it? Yeah, I do. I want to do it. Victory Bell for the win! Victory Bell for the win! Alright, here we go. Look at that. The poison damage. <laughs> I know I could have got Halucho or the Aerodos, but I wanted I wanted that poison damage. I wanted that. Oh man, that was great. Oh, that was great. So that's it. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've played a bunch of matches for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are a new subscriber, or actually, if you are, are not a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. If you're a new subscriber, hey, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for being a part of this channel, being a part of this epic journey of countless and endless Pokemon TCG online battles. Hopefully, I'll uh, have some more stuff for you guys soon. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.